Okay, hey guys, Totally Randy is back. Oh, come on. Do I even have to say it? Hop on in. Let's go. Happy Foodie Friday. Hello. up i'm demetrius walker the owner of meek's vegan pizza we're down here at the blodgett food hall here in the third ward to talk a little bit about what we have going on as the only vegan pizza shop in houston texas what do you think about that term fat vegan like that's just just yes, because you're vegan it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be skinny um, you know it's determined by a lot of things metabolism you know all kind of other factors go into it yeah. So, you know, there are people who are vegan specifically because, you know, they're trying to lose weight. And it is a good way to manage your weight because there's no saturated fat or cholesterol in most vegan foods, whole foods. But there's also vegan junk. Food. I think that's the confusion with people. I think when they, when they think vegan, they think ultra healthy and they don't want to touch it because healthy food is not good. What's your least healthy vegan pizza? Well, we have our meathead pizza. Um, and I wouldn't say it's necessarily unhealthy, but it does have impossible burger. Um, and, you know, impossible foods. Um, they come up with some great recipes with their team of scientists, but they didn't necessarily create these foods to be a food that helps you lose weight. Uh, so, you know, if you compare it side by side, the impossible burger versus the traditional hamburger made from, you know, beef, um, they're gonna have about the same caloric intake the difference is there's no cholesterol in the Impossible Burger. So you can only get cholesterol from animal foods. Uh, that don't exist in vegan foods. There's no cholesterol in plants. You can only get cholesterol in your body by consuming animal food. So, you know, we became accustomed to eating pig's feet, chitlins, you know, the things that... Oxtails. Oxtails, which, you know, I love the oxtails, right? So, so you went vegan, cold turkey. Where did the birth of Meeks vegan pizza come from? Um, so there's a couple of different reasons that culminated in me opening Meeks vegan pizza. Uh, first and foremost, I moved to Houston in 2007. Ever since I moved to the South from New York, I was not able to find any New York pizza. So it was always in the back of my mind that I wished that I could get that New York taste down here. You know, then I went vegan which was a huge shock to my son. I have custody of my son, and he's like, you know, he's 10 years old now. Black father's man. Thank you, thank you, you do. He always wanted to eat pizza. And I said, you know what? What if I could develop a pizza that was vegan, that tasted so good, that he would stop eating the dairy pizza, which I know contains a lot of saturated fat and cholesterol. Right. And he could eat a pizza that tastes just as good, if not better, but that was completely vegan. And so that's where the initial concept for Meeks Vegan Pizza came into play. So we make our dough and our cheese from scratch daily. And then I also have a secret ingredient I can't reveal because I don't want people out there trying to steal it. I'm looking at the Plugs Warrior. Yeah. Is that a fan favorite? It's a fan favorite. You have seitan pepperoni, you have bell peppers, mushrooms, and some spinach. So it's a I good mix it. of vegan meat and veggies. Uh, you know, the pepperoni is made out of wheat instead of uh, pork. Y'all ready for the food, right? Like, y'all don't want to see me anymore. Y'all are ready for the food. So let me go place my order, and then I'm coming back. The Plugs Warrior is calling my name. That's a great, that's a great selection. I think it's going to be my MVP. Boom! Okay, you guys, if you've never been to the Blodgett Food Hall, it's so super quick and easy to order. You can add extra toppings if you want. I also got a vegan ranch dip that was to die for. He has size large or extra large, and I got my large pizza with the cashew cheese instead of the coconut. Look at the lawyer's plug, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Also, while I was here, I met some really cool guys from Nosh Pass. They just landed in Houston. We had an amazing conversation. You guys go and follow them. I did not think that vegan pizza would be this Oh, I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything, like the pepperoni. Oh, so this is all vegan. The cheese, yeah. Where are they making it? Making it out of that? Well, this one, I think I got uh, the cheese is the cashew cheese. Mm. Yeah. And he said he makes his own dough from scratch every single day. 
It's really good. Is a chef vegan too? He's vegan. Mm. He says he's been vegan since 2018. Are you vegan? <laughs> pescatarian. No, oh, that's right. Pescatarian. Well, pescatarian ish. Ish. Because, like, because worth the weight segment had me eating all kind of food, okay? <laughs> I would collapse if I eat this stuff every day. <laughs> right. Literally collapse. You guys, it's worth the wait. Tune in next time. I'm your host, Totally Randy. <laughs> Tony. I'm stuffing my face. This is Aaron. Aaron, Nosh Pass, right here. We're in the Blodgett Food Hall in Third Ward. Come to Beyonce, Texas, and get you some vegan pizza from Meeks Vegan Pizza, you guys. Bye. Be well. Eh, 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 eh